Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up a Bitcoin trading grid bot on the Gate.io exchange. Now, if you're not familiar with the exchange Gate.io, you can jump over to CoinGecko and that will pull up the top crypto exchanges. And of course, you can see Binance is number one. We got Coinbase coming in at number three. And Gate.io is actually in the top 10. They come in at number nine. And they do have a trust score of 10. So it is a trustworthy exchange according to CoinGecko. And they have excellent volume. They have volume of $645 million a day in trading volume. And what's also very interesting is the number of of coins you can see Binance offers 326 coins gate IO actually offers 822 coins so that's almost three times more than what Binance offers and then as far as trading pairs gate IO offers 1690 versus Binance's 1100 and I think gate IO is actually really trying to compete with Binance and at the end of the day with Binance being under scrutiny from several government regulations regulatory agencies in addition to if I want to use API keys with Binance now I have to go through a whole verification process or else they're just going to cancel my API keys and those are keys I use on trading platforms like Crypto Hopper, Bitscap, Mudrex and right now it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to use Binance as an exchange going forward. So I've been looking for alternatives and in my opinion Gate.io is an answer. Now that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to configuring this grid bot on the gate IO exchange. All right. If you're new to gate IO, I will leave a link in the description down below and you can get started with gate IO for free. There's no monthly fees. It is an exchange, no different than Coinbase, Qcoin, Kraken, Binance. It's basically free to join. And so by following the link down below, it won't cost you a dime to sign up. And after you have signed up and log into your account, perhaps fund it with a little bit of USDT or what have you, you can come over to the trade tab over here at the top of the screen and click on spot trading. And then from the trading dashboard, you can actually search through a variety of different coins as you saw on CoinGecko. There are a lot of them to choose from, but today I will be trading BTC, USDT, that is the pair I will be deploying my bot on. And now with my pair determined, I can come down to where you see it says grid trading and I can click on grid trading and that will pop up their grid configuration for their basic grid trading bot. Now, if you're new to grid trading and you're not quite certain how it actually works, the idea is a grid is made up of open limit buy orders and open limit sell orders. And so the red lines and the green lines you see on the screen are represented by limit orders. The green lines are your buy orders and the red lines would be your open limit sell orders. And the objective is when the price goes down and hits the green lines, you want the bot to be buying at a lower price as it goes down and then once the price recovers and starts to go back up you are then selling at a profit at a higher price as the price crosses these red lines and executes the open limit sell orders and so you're looking to buy the dip down and sell the rip up for profit and with that being said my objective of this BTC USDT pairing is to actually buy Bitcoin at a lower price and so I don't care how low the price goes I'm willing to buy Bitcoin because I am bullish in the long term four or five years on Bitcoin but at the same time as the price goes up I don't mind selling for a profit and then taking that profit and accumulating more Bitcoin on lower prices when we get the pullbacks and so the gate IO grid bot offers two ways to actually configure the grid bot. You can actually go by their configuration, which they call smart grid, and it will fill in your upper and lower price for you. It will also predetermine the number of grids and then the number of grids based on the upper and lower limit will give you a common difference, which is the spacing in between each grid and then the rate of return per grid minus the trading fees. It will pre-calculate all that for you as well. And then you just need to really determine total investment. Basically, how much ammo do you want to give this bot to execute those trades? And then the last two features are optional. And depending on your strategy for the pairs you're trading, I typically recommend you use a stop loss. However, there are exceptions, but there are very far and few between. 
And then your second feature that is also optional is you can set it take profit. If you're just looking for the bot to grab a quick 5, 10, 20% profit, you might set that up. And so if you decide to go with the smart grid, pretty much everything's determined for you. And then all you really need to do is click create AI strategy. Now, I personally prefer to configure my own grid bot. So I'm going to come over here to the other side of the screen and configure grid manually. So in this case, I need to determine my upper price and my lower price. Now for me, I prefer to set my upper price limit somewhere around a resistance level and my lower price somewhere around a support level. So if we scroll back up and we'll switch over to the weekly chart, we can see where Bitcoin sold off back in May from around the 60,000 level all the way down to around 28.8. And so for the lower limit, you could certainly go with 28.8. And then for the upper limit, we probably have some resistance coming in at 51,000. However, for me, I want Bitcoin to have the most amount of range to move. And so I'm going to give it room basically between 60,000 and that 28.8 level. I really just want it to buy the dip down and sell the rip up. And I want to give it as much room as possible to maneuver and accumulate profit. So then I can reinvest that profit into more Bitcoin. So my upper limit price, I'm going to set at 60,000. And then my lower limit price, the price did crash as low as 28.8. So I'm actually going to give it a little more room to maneuver in case we do see a big sell off. And so I'm going to go with a lower limit price of 27,000. Now I have a choice between two different styles of grid placement. I have arithmetic and geometric. Now the arithmetic allows me to choose the number of grids between 2 to 200. So if we go to the high end, let's say 200. You can see right away that if I have 200 grids based on my spread of 27,000 to 60,000, my common difference would be $165 in between each grid. However, my rate of profit minus the trading fees would be negative. So I'd actually be losing money every time a trade was made. So if we drop the number of grids from 200 to 100, then we can see my common difference is around $333 per grid. So the spacing is $333 between each grid. And that would give me a rate of return of 0.16 to 0.83% profit. Now I'd actually like to see that a little higher on the low end. And so we'll drop this down to say 70 grids. Now with 70 grids, my common difference is now $478 per grid. With a rate of return, again, less those fees, would be 0.4% up to 1.37%. So that looks a little bit better as far as profitability goes. And so with my upper limit, lower limit, and my grid spacing selected, the next step really is to determine how much ammo I want to give this bot. And you can see that the minimum amount I need to give this bot is right around $300. So let's say we give that bot $300. And then by giving the bot a little bit of ammo, that will actually determine how much Bitcoin it will buy or sell each time the price hits one of the grids. And in this case, it'll be 0 0.0001 BTC. Now with those settings, I could then set a stop loss and a take profit and then click create manually. However, I do want to take a look at the geometric option as well. So I just give that a click. And with the same upper limit and lower limit and number of grids, I would have a common ratio percentage between each grid rather than dollar amount. And in that case, it'll be a 1.164% space between each grid. And at that point, I lock in a more fixed rate of return per grid, less fees, of 0.77%. So rather than having that fluctuating profit amount, I can actually count on approximately 0.77% profit. Now for me, I actually prefer geometric. And so in this case, I'm going to stick with these settings. And that includes the upper limit of 60,000, the lower limit price of 27,000, of course, geometric number of grids 70. My common ratio will be 1.164% spacing. And then my rate of return per grid will be approximately 0.77%. And again, the bot will buy or sell each time the price hits one of the grids 0.0001 BTC. And then the total investment required is 280, but I'm going to bump that up and actually give this bot 500 USDT. 
But again, that's not necessary. You could actually deploy this bot with as little as 280 USDT. Now, as far as the stop loss goes, if you've watched a lot of my videos on crypto trading, you know my theory on a stop loss. If you don't use a stop loss, you're basically going into battle without armor and eventually you could get killed. However, in this situation, I am willing to make an exception for this grid bot because I'm trading BTC. When I'm trading altcoins, I always use a stop loss. But when I trade BTC with the objective to accumulate BTC at a lower price, it doesn't matter how low Bitcoin's going to go. It's not going to zero anytime soon. And so I'm actually comfortable going without a stop loss. I'm basically going into battle without that armor, but I'm pretty confident I'm not going to get killed. And then the option for auto take profit. Again, that's not a feature I'm going to enable because I want this bot to just continue to grind along and accumulate profit. And so that's pretty much it. I'm ready to deploy the bot. And so I just click create manually. And then it lets me know that it actually needs to buy some BTC to bootstrap the grid strategy. And what that basically means is I need to buy some Bitcoin since I don't hold Bitcoin on the platform currently in order to fulfill any sell limit orders if the price does nothing but go up from the moment I deploy the bot. So I just click OK. Next, it will want me to put in my trading password. So just a form of security click submit and it says created and then if i want to actually see the results from my grid trading i can view that on their quantitative page give that a click from this page i just need to go to ongoing strategies and give that a click over here on the left and then under the spot grid trading you'll see i have one strategy running which is a strategy i just deployed and so i can give that a click and here you'll find your stats as far as your signal trading profits, which is zero because I just deployed it. Unrealized profit and loss, which again is zero because it's just been deployed. You can see the actual parameters of my setup and the price range 27,000 to 60,000. Number of grids was 70. And that pretty much wraps it up. The bot is deployed live and up and running. So I will do an update video in the near future, whether it's profit or loss. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like the video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop those in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Gate.io in the description down below. And in closing, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.